All right, guys, hello. I am going to sample the Morning Star veggie bacon, which I picked up yesterday and I did a product review. Well, not a pro I did a uh, vegan meat haul video, so you might have seen that there if you saw that video already. This uh, is smoked veggie bacon with a crispy bite. It says to keep frozen until you're ready to use it, so I have. And for every two strips, 60 calories, it does have 4.5 grams of fat and 0.5 grams of saturated fat. It has 0 milligrams of cholesterol, two, uh, 230 milligrams of sodium, 15 milligrams of potassium, carbohydrate 2 grams, dietary fiber 1 gram, protein 2 grams, and it has thiamine, niacin, B12, iron, riboflavin, and vitamin B6. Now this is not vegan. It's vegetarian because it does have egg whites in it. And um, Okay, I'll read. Egg white soybean oil with, I don't know what that is, TBHQ for freshness, textured soy protein, concentrate, modified cornstarch, corn wheat gluten, Hydro, hyd, uh, hydrolyzed vegetable protein, which is part of corn gluten, wheat gluten, soy, contains 2% or less of glycerin salt. Soy protein isolates sodium citrate, sodium phosphate, sugar, natural and artificial flavors from non-meat sources, tortula, tortula yeast, caramel color, monocalcium phosphate, sodium tri, tri, what? triple phosphate, natural smoke flavor, malic acid, guar gum, yeast, extract, locust bean and guar gum, sodium sulfite, carrageenan, red number three, dis uh, disodium isonite, it, yeah, it's hard to read this because it's also really small, um, disodium guanolate, nias niacinamide, iron, yeast, non-fat dry milk, and then the, the B1, B6, B2, citric acid b12 yada yada okay guys so i picked this up more for my daughter i mean she likes to have some bacon we never really ate much bacon i would eat some turkey bacon i am going to sample this so you guys know what it's like it's not everyone is as concerned about vegan versus uh vegetarians because it does have egg whites and some dry milk or something but so that my daughter's not eating meat I think this is a good alternative. This was $3.69, I think. And this is what it looks like. Uh, you know, in terms of the list of ingredients, it was extensive as well, and maybe not the healthiest. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. If you still would prefer to not have meat, it's an option for you. I'm gonna open this. I'm just gonna make like a couple. Okay, so the package was frozen. I, I took it out just a tiny bit. So it's the, the slices are still pliable, even from the freezer. So that's good, because I was worried they'd be stuck together, and how was I supposed to do this? So the color looks, maybe that's the red number three. It looks uh, a little bright. You know, sort of more artificial, I guess. But let's uh, see what this is like in terms of taste. I'll be back, guys, in a moment. Okay, guys, so here it is. Uh, it's just been a few minutes. I'm going to take it and put it in a plate. My daughter's down here, so... <laughs> I'll get her unscripted review. Um, I can't even tell how it smells because I... Stupidly, I was making something for my breakfast and I had hot pepper. And I touched under my nose, so now my nose feels... It's tingling! It smells good. What do you think, Chloe? I don't smell it. You don't smell it? So it's mm -hmm. not just my nose? Okay. It's crisped up like that, as you can see. Let's see. Me. It's actually not bad. It's actually not bad at all. What do you think? No, I'm kidding. It tastes good. Does it taste good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'd heard from other people that, like, I, you know, someone else who 
tasted a few different ones that they thought this was the best closest to bacon. This actually tastes to me like bacon. I mean, it's smoky flavor. It tastes the texture's right um, compared to the Eve's veggie or vegan bacon. So maybe, you know, the eggs and the, what do you call it, the little bit of milk, milk, dried milk powder helps. I don't know. But it does pretty much taste uh, like bacon. So hey guys, you might want to check this out. Thanks for watching.